All right, I'm back out in the garage. Uh, working on the ZV again. <laughs> Start doing a video, pulling, showing, pulling the head off. But uh, got interrupted. I don't edit, I don't splice, so I just start over with where I'm at. Uh, I had suspected that this thing had a blown head gasket just because of some of the noise it was making and complete lack of power uh, when I pulled the head off last night. Just for fun, after I got all the nuts loose or off, uh, I noticed, you can see right here, this is completely blown out, this is all burnt up. This is blown out, This I think this is probably where I was getting all my noise from the combustion blowing out of this side of this this gasket. Uh, it was also getting burnt up over here. As you can see that outer layer is gone. Um, so definitely, yeah, I had a, had a blown head. Not sure why I, I wasn't getting uh, overheating and whatnot from that being blown out into the water jacket. But I also got to noticing uh, down in here, there's a lot of nasties down in on top of these pistons. Um, I had shot some antifreeze, or not antifreeze, <laughs> automatic transmission fluid down in the in the hole in the spark plug holes while it was sitting out in the yard for um, Christmas with the Christmas decorations on it. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I, I really didn't want to do this, but I'm going to just because it's the right thing to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull these blocks off. The gasket set I've got has got new base, new base gaskets. It comes with two base gaskets, two head gaskets, two manifold gaskets, and a couple other little ones. Um, but you have to, to get the head gasket to seal, seal properly, which may be what was wrong why I had this problem because I changed heads but I never pulled the blocks. You really the blocks need to just be sitting loose on the engine when you when you uh, <clears throat> torque the head down because these are separate. So you need to torque it torque the head first to pull all that flat and flush and all that good stuff. Um, so I think I'm gonna pull those out. Pull the blocks all the way out, pull the pistons out, clean the pistons up, clean the cylinders out before I put it all back together. Um, so, and one of the little projects I gotta do, I gotta file the points a little bit. They were a little dirty and weren't sparking when I had it out in the yard and I was gonna try and get it running before I just drug it in the garage. So, file the points, pull the jugs, which to do that, on the other side, over here on the back side of the engine, take the side plate off. I think you should probably just take the side plate off, pull them all off as an assembly, and then I can pull the pistons out one at a time, clean them up, put it back together, drop it back on. So that's the plan. Um, I'll, uh, I guess while I'm thinking of it, guys with these Z's and whatever R's and Z's that want to put alternators on, this is how I did it. I made a new, I can't remember if I made a new bracket or just new drilled new holes in the existing bracket to move it as far this way as I could. Use the uh, original Moline pulley on the alternator. Um, pipe spacer on the long bolt. And then I built this, you can see down in there. I got a flat piece, I think it's flat. Yeah, I got a, a flat, flat piece that's loose. Not only is it loose, the bolt's gone. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, flat piece that comes off the front of the motor, another flat piece that comes up, and then this flat piece that's bent and over <laughs> with the beautifully torched out slot for the adjustment. Um, using a little Motorola uh, alternator that I picked up many moons ago that worked really good back in the day. I don't know if it still works or not, but anyway, the goal is we'll <laughs> get a bolt back in there get those filed, get the jugs pulled and cleaned up, new gaskets put all back together and the old girl will be ready to go, I hope. Anyway, want to make some more progress, I'll be back.